People come from all over the world to see Bryce Canyon, and today we're going to show you why. Hi, I'm Shari Harris with Fathom Realty, and this weekend I'm at Bryce Canyon with my husband for our anniversary. So Bryce Canyon is just over two hours away from St. George, and the drive here is beautiful. We ended up, because it was kind of a last minute thing, staying at a hotel that was about 20 minutes outside of Bryce Canyon, so not far at all. We stayed at the Quality Inn, and it's not a really fancy place. I mean, um, but it was nice and clean and the breakfast was really good. We had waffles, eggs, sausage, they had cereal, oatmeal, lots of juice. So it was a nice place to stay, especially when you're not spending much time in the room. You're just out exploring. The hotel is just off of Scenic Byway 12, which is gorgeous. It has these cool red tunnels and the beautiful red rock and the trees. And so you felt like you were actually already in Bryce Canyon long before you arrived. So the first thing we did was go on a hike and it's one of the most popular ones there and it's Queen's Trail and then we combined it with the Navajo Loop and so uh, we didn't have to backtrack, we just did the loop around. So we were hiking around all these cool rock formations that they call hoodoos and um, it's kind of steep so you're going down quite a bit, go through the valley a bit and then you've got to hike back up but I saw tons of kids on it, so it's totally family friendly. I have a bad knee, and so I was introduced to using uh, like hiking sticks, and that was amazing and saved me. So I was able to do the hike even with a knee that doesn't work quite right. So this hike took us um, about three hours, but we stopped tons to take pictures. And when you do the whole loop, it's like three miles long. And next we checked out the Bryce Amphitheater, and really this is just pretty well where we were on that hike, but up above and there's four different spots that you can um like we went to sunrise point and took all these pictures then walked along um, to sunset point and took some more pictures and then we drove to the others there was inspiration point and bryce point and they're just different angles of looking at all these magnificent rocks it's hard to capture how incredible it is in pictures bryce point was probably my favorite favorite view. It was incredible. I was quite surprised. I, I mean, after we'd hiked through all of that, I thought we had seen it all and that was, that was incredible. So we are here um, kind of off season, just barely. The season here kind of starts in April, May. So some things are closed right now. So like the shuttle was not running. So you can take the shuttle to all these different um, viewpoints or you can just drive yourself um, all year long. So we didn't see a whole lot of like animals, wildlife while we were here. Except for early in the morning, uh, we saw a lot of deer um, over by the Sunrise Overlook. Some other incredible views, if you just keep continuing on that main road, you go to the higher elevations. And so the road kind of ends at Rainbow Point and it's totally incredible. You're at the highest elevation. It doesn't look like there's anything out there higher than you are. And there's viewpoints in all these different directions that you can go see. And that was pretty remarkable. It was really windy. We went early in the morning, um, so it was a little cold. There's still uh, more snow up there at this time of year. It's right now, it's the end of March. So wear like a coat. <laughs> I stole my husband's coat to keep warm, um, but it was incredible. Well worth the drive up there. And then kind of as, as we were driving up there, there were a lot of um, places you could stop and look. A couple of my favorites would be the Natural Bridge and the Black Birch Canyon. Both of those overlooks are awesome. So I would recommend checking those out. And if you have time, just check out all of them. There's so many different surprises as you pull off and you get out of your car and look around. So they do have a visitor center right after you pass the pay station. The visitor center has a gift shop, exhibits, and then they do have a video that was like 20, 25 minutes long that kind of tells you the history of the park and goes over the different seasons there. I don't know if young kids would enjoy it, but I thought it was quite interesting and learned quite a bit about the park and the history there. Also at the visitor center, they'll have information there posted about what trails are closed or temperatures and sunrise and sunset and just help you be a little bit more prepared for the day. Uh, just before you enter the park there is a place called Ruby Inn and they have a restaurant and a gift shop that just goes on and on and on and the gift shop also has in the back kind of like a grocery store and some camping gear so if you forgot something there's a lot of stuff you can find in there. I've never seen a gift shop quite like that. I actually really enjoyed exploring it. They also have a hallway 
of all these beautiful photographs that they've taken. There's a restaurant there. We didn't eat at that restaurant this time. Um, they have lodging there and then they have a campground that, for RVs and trailers and tenting um, throughout there. And then something I'm coming back to do because I'm bringing a group of youth here this summer, they have some teepees there. And so um, those aren't up right now, but they will be up in the summer and we'll be camping at the teepees. Right next to the Ruby Inn Lodge was the Ruby Canyon Diner and we actually did eat there. Um, and it was really good. We had a cheese steak sandwich, onion rings, fries, milkshake, um, so all American food. And so I did notice like across the street from this Ruby Inn and Ruby Diner and all this, there's like a bunch of little shops and they have this old town fill. That was all closed because we're not in season right now, but I think those would be fun to try out. And then there was also rodeo grounds. In season, they have all these other things that you can add on and do while you're in the area. If you like this video, you may want to check out our video about Zion National Park. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.